What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining me for some more Enderall. It's Jay Dumont. Let's go. Eterna are feared or even hated in many countries of the civilized world. Although some of these prejudices can also be experienced in Enderall, they are much less prevalent there. Good to know because I'm half Eterna. Coastal deer stalker. I'll take your wolf meat. Game is very pretty. I guess I come down here. I hear a ghost or something. Hard fights require tactics. Press M2 while blocking to execute a bashing attack. Alright, let's try that. Execute a bashing attack. Alright. There's a ghost down here, isn't there? Sounds like an ancestral ghost. It's too dark to really see anything. I don't know what I'm missing in the woods. Shoot, I died. You got me. Let's eat. Can aim. Die. Whoa. Let's see another pumpkin. I am playing on expert. I should probably up the difficulty. I say as I'm just about dead. Come on, bros, I need the wolf meat. Give me your wolf meat, fool. Alright, where do I go? Do, 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 do. To the waterfall. Can't beat the waterfall. Harvestable. You guys, fighters, You're taunting me. Shut up. Hmm. 
couldn't risk it. Plus I need the XP. Come on, I know you hid something over here. No? Just a couple of river crabs. Catch a salmon? Sure. That's how we do things. At least so there's just a couple of river crabs over here. No rare root or something. Surprising. No clutch of river crab eggs. I need a night eye potion ASAP. Or a skill spell. I'll be able to move better in a minute here. Whoa, son! These river crabs don't play. But they burn. Burn, baby, burn. I don't know if I'm getting any XP for them. I'm wasting my staff. Do, 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 do quest markers on my compass. Man, I'm loving exploring this world again. Alrighty. I'm loving it. Come here, Firefly. They're my little buddies. Oh, something's here. Answers marked with uh carry the story forward, but there's chances and dialogue options aren't available I anymore. I'd seen someone scrambling in the mountains. What brings you here, my sir? That's a long story. Where am I here and who are you? Who am I? Finn de Lewis, apothecarius by my path. Pleased to meet you. And you are at Sun Coast, in the south of Enderon. Where are you from? But, but wait, don't tell me. I know that accent. Nerim, isn't it? I... There we go. Everything's locked up. At least for the night we should. Wait a second. Who's that? <sighs> Just an adventurer on his way. No reason to worry. No reason to worry? For heck's sake, Finn. How do you know that this guy isn't with the bandits? You said you'd call me if anyone showed up. And now you're... you're standing here. Having a chat with him as if this were the bathing house of Ark. Lo and behold, we are still alive. Now, is there anything else, Carbos? I've got my eye on you. Touch any of our stuff, and you'll regret it. Unbelievable. <sighs> May I present Carbos as he lives and breathes. Sorry about that just now. That's just how he is. In any case, if you don't need any more help, I'd suggest you move on. Follow the way east behind the dam house. It'll lead you to a village called... Riverville. Ah, here, take this. Truth be told, you don't look so healthy. Your eyes... <laughs> ah, well, whatever. You said you were an apothecarius by my path. What do you mean by my path? <laughs> by the Black Guardian. You really are an outlander, aren't you? My path is... Well, it's just my path. My role designated to me by Malthus. A kind of calling, if you will. A role designated by Malthus? You mean the gods assign your professions to you? Uh, not exactly. Malthus designates our place in society, generally the same one our fathers and forefathers occupied. I walk the path of the Eridites, and there's also the Manufacturers, the Sublimes, and, of course, the Pathless. Within these rules, we are free to choose a profession, but certain vocations that are available to an erudite are not permitted to a manufacturer which is one path below however 
below does not mean that it is in any way inferior. Everyone on Enderal does what they do best. And who would know better than the gods what exactly that is? Right. And who are these pathless? No. Oh. Men or women who have never received the path consecration, or those who have broken their path. Brigands, glimmer dust smugglers, murderers, well, you know. In Narum, there's a rumor that the gods are dead. <laughs> and over here, there's a rumor that the Golden Queen has a weakness for men in gowns. Seriously, be careful with that kind of gossip. I know you don't mean any harm, but there are a few who might consider it heresy. But aren't you frustrated by being bound to that path? Don't you want to advance? Folly of my youth, I might have thought about it, yes. But then I realized that half of what goes wrong in this world has to do with the desire to advance. True. I am interested in living the righteous path and to contribute to the preservation of my people. That's enough for me, and only the faithful will be granted the eternal pass upon death. Awesome. Huh, an interesting thought. Well. I didn't come up with it. Can you tell me more about this region? Well, what can I tell you? This is the Sun Coast, in the south of Enderal. A pretty peaceful area, except for all the animals and bandits that have recently started going crazy. And, well, that's pretty much it. I think you should ask the people in Riverville if you want to know more. They certainly have some stories to tell. I see. Are there places that might be of interest to an adventurer? To an adventurer? <laughs> if you ask me, what you need before you adventure anywhere is some good old-fashioned shut-eye. But yes, there are some places. The Three River Watch, for example, right there below the Stone Arch. It was once an old trading post, but now it's full of ooh, shady characters. <laughs> ah, and there's also a big Pyrian ruin south of it. Can I trade some good with you? I found some things in the ruins. Hmm, yeah, why not? Show me what you've got. Maybe I have some things you can use. Buy or sell items by selecting and pressing E. Buying prices are higher than selling prices. Through the name selection at the bottom, you can switch between your inventory and the merchants. The inventory of merchants gets refilled after a few days. Alright. Oh boy. Um. Oh, this is him. This is me. Okay. Well, we can sell the pickaxe. No, we might need to mine. <laughs> sell this stuff. And I don't know what any of this stuff does, if I need it or not. Probably don't need goblets and stuff. Oh, it says clutter. Alright, so we'll sell the clutter. And for you, I'll take, let's see, what do you got? health potions. I have 77 gold. Learning book, light magic. I can't afford those. Alright. Pleasure doing business with you. What's your story? Why are you here? Us? Oh, nothing spectacular I'm afraid. We gather herbs, but tomorrow we're going back north, to League. <sighs> you should stop by one day if you're in the area. 
Someone who scours period ruins and survives could surely be useful to the apothecary and help us find some things. Okay, what about my eyes? Mm, there's something mm, peculiar about you. I don't know how else to say it. I would examine you myself, but we don't have the right equipment with us. So if I were you, I'd ask a priest in Riverville to have a look at you. Who knows? Maybe you caught something in that temple. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for your help. Don't mention it. I wish you a quick recovery and safe roads. Walk blessed. Carbos, do we need this still tomorrow? Or can I clean all the tools? Wait, it's been I'm playing. Don't bother me. <sighs> I guess that means no. Oh. What? Talk to the apothecaries about the fever. Hurricane fever just went up, but first I need to eat a pumpkin. What's going on, bruh? Mm -hmm. By the righteous path? What happened to you? You look as if you've met the Black Guardian himself. Yes, I suddenly have this kind of fever. Do you have any idea what it could be? Fever? Well, um, <laughs> there could be many causes. Wait a moment. I think I still have some grunt roots. That should be enough to ease your pain, at least for now. Take a seat at the fire. The warmth might help you. Oh, so now we're doing potions for the Well, if the strangers are about to die of fever, then yes. There was that orb we swore once, remember? To help the afflicted, to... Thank you. One second, guys. Okay. Alright, sit down by the fire. Right here. Any promises, but Finn, the still. Do something, damn it. Do something, oh, no. Hmm? Oh, sod it. Do I really have to watch every step you take? That was a fucking close call. Uh, hey, I'm sorry, all right. We'll pick up a new one in Ark. Yeah, you're paying. Here I thought this bloody day could be getting worse. <sighs> this day isn't getting any better. Here, drink this. It'll help you. Uncork bottle and drink potion. See, you already look a lot better. Still, you should let a priest take a look at that fever as soon as possible. The grunt root portion will wane in a few days. Thanks, but what in blazes just happened there? What? You mean the still? Bad quality. And too much heat, I'd wager. But, yeah, whatever will be, will be. But the explosion, the voices, they were yours. Uh, explosion? I'm not sure I'll follow. Oh, that'd be great, wouldn't it? Vindal. Died in 8234. Cause of death exploded still. Ha ha. Look, I really don't know what you're talking about. Maybe. Wait a second. What was that? I could have sworn I saw something moving. Oh shit! Ah! Oh! Cobbles! They've hit me, Finn. Those bastards. They've hit me. Carbos, I... Do something, damn it! Whoa! What in the world? 
that just happen? Look at that. Our mysterious survivor is awoken. What? Where am I? And who are you? Spar Matumiel Del Beric. Spar for short. And you, my friend, are at my very own campsite. Before you ask, yes, the bandits killed both of the apothecary. The only reason you're still alive is that the impact of the explosion threw you right into the thicket. Most of your injuries are only superficial, but your fever, it's a different story. How do you know about the apothecary? Were you there when they attacked? I was on the perimeter, and no, I didn't help for two reasons. One, I was outnumbered. Two, I'm quite fond of my entrails. I wish I had a more heroic answer, but I suck. Wait, what do you know about my fever? Quite a lot, actually. You're suffering from Arcanist's fever. Honestly, I'm surprised the old apothecarius didn't see that. Let me guess, you're suddenly capable of doing things you previously knew were only from the bard right? You're unusually strong, you have reflexes like a cat, drinking potions, or any kind of magically infused substance leaves a bitter afterglow. Yes. Well then, congratulations. Your magical talent just blossomed. A bit late, given your age, but it happens. Put simply, the fever is a result of your body not being able to cope with it. It's not much of a problem for now, but if you don't let an arcanist treat you sometime soon, things are going to get grim. So an arcanist will be able to cure this fever? Contain it, not cure it. From here on out, you're always going to be a little more sensitive than someone without magical gifts. But that's tolerable compared to what your magic will allow you to do. What do you mean by a little sensitive? Prone to certain conditions. As I said, your fever will get worse if you drink healing potions. But you'll also be a lot more susceptible to nightmares and those kinds of things. Also, you should be very cautious of areas with magical contamination, such as Thalgard and the East. If I contain the fever but let it get worse, what are the consequences? Diffuse headaches, general unease. Later on, your eyesight will blur, your limbs will grow weak, and you get a maddening itch all over your body. If you leave it untreated for too long, you will either die or turn into an orbaya. Wait, it can kill me? And what's an orbaya? Yes, it can kill you. Everything has its price, as the wise hermit likes to say. And an orbaya is basically a giant undead version of yourself, with tumors and pus all over your body. Just never let the fever get to that. Are there any other remedies? Well, there's ambrosia, but for an uncontained fever, it will only postpone the symptoms. Later, you can drink it whenever the fever gets worse. The stuff looks and tastes like undead sweat. It's yeah. bloody expensive, but it's the only thing that really helps. Huh, what about these visions? Are they also caused by the fever? You have visions? Yep. For lack of a better word, yes. Ever since I've had this fever, I get these strange premonitions of things which are about to happen. Are they also a symptom? Um, I know of. The only visions I've ever had are those that come along with a good pipe of peace food. Uh, hmm. You know what? As I said, someone needs to contain your fever as soon as possible. And as it happens, I know people. But in return, I want you to tell me everything. What did you do in that temple? And what's the story with those visions? I can't put my finger on it, but there's something strange about you, and that intrigues me. What do you say? Treatment for information, alright. Well then, the stage is yours. Hmm? Oh, I'm telling him. I see. Condolences for your loss. So, let me summarize. You somehow survived getting thrown into the open sea, and while you were half dead, had this dream in which you saw both bodies of blinding light. Yes, but it wasn't just a dream, it was more like a memory. The temple I saw in it was the same as the one in the valley. Huh. You also said that your magic didn't develop gradually, as it usually does, but all at once, right? Right after I washed up on the shore, yes, together with those visions. Well, that's quite the story. I guess you know how absurd it sounds, but for some reason, I believe you. I've had a lot of liars in my life, and you aren't one of them. 
All right, it's settled then. I'll introduce you to my employer and ask him to treat you. Before we leave, however, there's something else I need to take care of, and I can use a hand. The sooner we get that done, the sooner we can make for Ark. What's Ark? Ark? The, the capital of this country? Walls high as towers of iron hard stone rest alone in the mountains in granite and throw. Never decaying, the ages surveying, guarded by Malthus, blah 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 blah, and so on and so forth. Hey, you're going to see it soon. Okay. I want to know more. Who's this employer of yours? Well, aren't you curious? I work for the Holy Order. The Holy Order? You mean the Enforcers of the Lightborn? Yeah, but they're more than just a military unit here. Enderal belongs to Malthus, the Guardian God. And the order answers directly to him. In other words, they're calling the shots here. No king, no queen, no council. Just a group of noble warriors always looking so stern and joyless that you can really be struggling with concentration. Hmm. Alright, I'll help you. The faster I get rid of this fever, the better. Splendid. You'll need some information before you can help me, though. I take it the fact that Vin has seen better times hasn't eluded your attention, has it? For the last two years, there have been wars and unrest everywhere. And even though in Enderal there is officially peace, there are peculiar things happening here, too. Women with docile animals, with tears, attacking wanderers in the open, the dead awakening in hordes. It, it's unsettling, to say the least. Yeah? The strangest thing, however, is the red madness. Do you think this chaos could be in any way related to the rumors about the Lightborn's death? Everyone in Naram, Naram talks about them. Yeah, rumors. I've heard them too. And I could indeed imagine that they're true. Close connection, yes. Then you actually believe that someone did kill the god, the Lightborn? As I said, maybe. But if you ask me, the Lightborn were never more than impostors anyway. False gods. What do the Andralians think about that? Well, they usually be thinking of their holy order. And they, of course, deny everything. But as much as I hate to say it, maybe it's better this way, at least for now. The spiritual crisis is the last thing this country needs at the moment. And here I thought the Andralians were the most pious people in the civilized world. Oh, well, I'm hardly representative. I've seen that a long life is only one of the things powerful magic can achieve. And the false deity theory isn't that new after all, is it? Seriously, say the Lightborn really are as mighty as the Revelations say they are. Wouldn't they have the power to call down lightning on me right here and right now to punish me for my insolence? No. The Lightborn were immortal kings. That's all. At least, that's how I see it. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings. Far from it. Splendid. You never know. But we digress. Right, you mentioned something about a red madness? Yeah. It's, it's, it makes people lose their mind. Just a couple of weeks ago, there was a smith in Ark who butchered his entire family. He was drunk, but that doesn't explain why he screamed things like fear the lights while he was doing it. Or a young woman, noble Pat, who set her own house on fire while her family was asleep. Yikes. Now, you might say that these kinds of things happen, but by now, there have been more than a dozen incidents in a very short period of time. The fact that the afflicted's eyes glow red while they go rampant has made people call the disease the red madness. Hmm. The thing is, some weeks ago it happened again. This time it was a magister of the Holy Order itself. A magister? What did he do? According to the sole survivor, he entered the teaching room that day as usual. And instead of giving his lecture on alchemy, he gave a strange kind of speech where he kept going on about how mankind is corrupted and has succumbed to the void. <laughs> his eyes started glowing, he locked the door, and blew himself up in a magical explosion. Yikes. That's horrible. So what's your role in all this? You said you work for the Order, but I take it you're no monk. I'm not one for vows and austerity, so no, I'm no keeper. 
My specialty is recovering lost things. Treasures, tomes, memories, and the like. And the Order hired me to do just that. They want to know how a man like you are going to fall victim to their hands. Thus, if there's something like a pattern to this malady. You're after his motives, but how can I help you with that? I don't know anything about that magister. It doesn't matter. Yarrow grew up in a small village not far from here. According to the order, he visited it quite often after his partner died. But I want your help with his finding clues as to why he did What do you think? Sounds like a plan. Great. First of all, I want you to travel to Riverville and talk to an old man named Alfred, a childhood friend of Yarrow's. Ask him what he makes of whether he has any explanation for it. Second, a farm boy told me that he saw Yarrow throw something into the sea during his last visit there. The winds have been blowing inland the last couple of days, so go search the shoreline and see if it washed up. I myself will take a look at the house Yarrow grew up in. Ah, I'm here. This is the map of the region. Yarrow's house is at the Blue Dock. So, unless there's anything else, I'd say let's step to it. Just meet me at the farm when you're done. The quest objective is marked by one or more stars. They indicate the difficulty of said quest, and at the same time, the level you should have for the quest. Alright. south. Anything here I can have? The Butcher of Arc Volume 1, Fall of the Fire. Wow. I'll take that for later reading. Hmm, it's a quest thing. She could, uh, I guess we could see our character this way. Huh? I'm nothing. Attention. Behold, border of the protected lands. Behind this mountain pass, there would be no protection against pathless ones. Travelers, beware of rockfall and assault. Okay. We've seen the rockfall, now what about the assault? No, I'm probably going to miss a ton of stuff.
the skull. Sure. Oh, and a coin purse. Seven pennies. So there's little stuff hidden all over. Someone's shooting an arrow. Ouch. Run. Oh, I'm gonna die. Run. I'm dead. Jump up there. some shoes out here. Another pumpkin. I mean, pumpkins like they're going out of style. What's over here? Aha! Uh -huh. Ten coins and a lockpick. Baked potatoes and a health potion. Interesting. Who's that? A word? You're gonna fight me? Highway man? Not this time, buddy. Give me your coins. A human heart. An iron dagger. Gauntlets. Longbow. Arrows. Boots. And vagrant dress, please. I'm not asking, please. I'm taking. You don't mess with an old man with his walking stick. Alright, we'll put those on. Put the boots on, and... Sure, let's put the vagrant dress on. How did I look at his face again? Oh, like that. Cool, I look pretty dope. person that skull again down here yeah right it's over here oh I thought that was a chest some holly Fighting. Ooh. Show yourself. Oh, the 
red dot on the map. Come here. That's all you got. You're dead. Feel my fiery flames. They're fantastic. Take your five pennies. I'm taking the stuff to sell, bro. Some camp up here. <clears throat> Take, oops, took an empty wine bottle. Can't use a fire to cook. Maybe there's a cooking pot or something. <clears throat> well, what's back here? Interact ladder. Aha! Take our fog sponge. Hmm. Use mouse to rotate the lock pick, then W to rotate the lock. When you rotate the lock, the closer the lock pick is to the correct position, the more the lock will rotate before the lock pick breaks. Only when the lock pick is in the correct position will the lock fully rotate and open. For picking, add up expert and master locks, you need to unlock the corresponding memories or use a spell scroll. Alright, so apprentice is fine. Hmm. Didn't have to move it at all. Silver amethyst ring for 180. Take it. Clever highwaymen. Thought I wouldn't find that, eh? You're sadly mistaken, and now you're dead. And I have your precious ring. It's mine, all mine. <laughs> My precious. They fiend. Whoa, snap. I want to kill a sparrow, too. Yeah, the moss crawlers. Fools for messing with me. Foolish spider. Where am I going? Alright, whoa! Oh, I'm gonna die. Maybe not. Stalker meat after that. Alright, we need another pumpkin. How about a. Uh, yeah, let's eat a pumpkin. How about a mana fungi? Hmm. Well, I guess I should meditate check out the trees, but I don't really know what I'm going to do yet. Mm. Fever determines your mental health as a magic user. Casting healing spells, using health potions, or being at specific locations raise the fever when your fever hits your first Mali. Whenever your fever hits, you first get Mali. Once it hits 100%, you die. So 
we've got two memory points, but I don't know what I'm gonna... Special in. It's definitely gonna be magic, so we can at least go look at the park trees. Do some meditation. Alright, so this is what? Keeper, shield wall, juggernaut, barbarian. That's warrior. This is rogue tree, I take it. And this is mage. Now what is this? Lycanthrope. Wolf blood. This memory allows you to wolf blood potions and chimica, chimic, chimica, chimica as a means to transform into a werewolf. On this tier, the duration of your transformation is limited to at most three minutes. The Lycanthrope is compatible to every style of playing Rogue, Assassin, Mage, Warrior. Interesting. And what is this? Net of Souls. The memories of the Phasmalist allow you to construct ghostly companions for you from the souls of dead people by using your knowledge and enchanting. The Phasmalist can be used with every style of playing Warrior, Mage, and Rogue, Assassin. Interesting. So now that's something I would definitely want to... You can improve enchanted weapons and armor. That's something I would want to check out. Focus. Memory unlock all mage disciple disciplines for you. You also receive a permanently boosted mana regen as well as the talent focus which lowers the mana cost for all, spell all spells by 33% for a short period of time. 15 second duration. I guess we can unlock that. Thaumaturge. Sinistro. Elementalist. Alright, so how do we focus? we check our magic menu and find out. Focus. Favorite it. I have to remember that I can focus. This reminds me a lot of playing Narum back in the day. Enjoying it, oodles and oodles and oodles. Ooh, some of my four pennies just laying out there. Riverville and Ark. Riverville this away. No quarrel with you, crab. There were some really nasty crabs in uh Naram, Merchant Eshra Miraya. No, no, you will not take her away with you. Hmm, I beg your pardon? You will not have her. Elfried stays with me and drop the disguise already. I know a god of death when I see one. A god of death? What? That's what I'd like to know. What's your problem? Oh, um, I'm sorry. I had a nightmare. Anyway, uh, who are you? I wasn't expecting to meet anyone else out here. Save for the bandits, that is. Long story. What do you do out here? You don't look like the adventurous type. No, I'm not. This ruin over there. You know, I'm a merchant, and my specialties are all kinds of things with historical background. The things you usually find in ruins. 
Of course, I'm usually not stupid enough to go looking for them myself, but there was this traveler from Ark who told me about this place, the Three River Watch, and he said that it's hardly guarded. Well, since I was in the area anyway, I thought it wouldn't hurt to take a look. Great idea, really. Look, I know we just met, but truth be told, I really got myself into some trouble here. And you, you look as if you know how to defend yourself. Something terrible happened, and I simply don't know what to do anymore. Let me guess, it has to do with this Elfried? Yes, my Elfried. She was kidnapped. By the stars, I was so stupid. We were just about to make camp for the night, and I went to search for some firewood. And then, just like that, she's gone. I see. Any the idea who took her? The bandits, maybe? No. A Vatir. I heard him grunting, you know. He lives in that damned ruin. I tried to sneak in, but it's impossible. And I can't go back to Riverville for help either. That would take way too long. Please, you have to help me. If anything happens to Elfried, I would never forgive myself. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Wait here. By the ancient fathers. Thank you, and hurry. Okay. Barter, you said you had some of your stock with you, didn't you? Let's trade. What? Oh, yes, sure. Man, you've got a lot of stuff. Clutter I can sell you. Empty wine bottle. Walk blessed and stay safe. Okay, where's this ruin you speak of? That over there? here okay I'll see what I can do not guaranteeing anything because I'm out of pumpkins let's eat a crusty bread Prison level 3, you receive 5 learning points, 4 crafting points, and a memory point. Let's go ahead and raise health. Fog sponge, give me that. Whisper trees. Torgan whisper tongue. I'll have to read these later. Scribbled letter. Be greeted, Samuel. Don't be concerned. You surely haven't deported to the Three River Watch. Haven't been deported. The watch lost its meaning to protect the transport of Jeds from the abandoned mine in the valley. So one remaining guard will be sufficient. Anyway, I can understand that it's boring, boring and lonely to keep watch at the most remote spot of Enderal. 
However, I'm sure they will send someone to support you in a few weeks. Meanwhile, just hang on. T. About whisper trees. Take that too. Can always use good reading materials. Is there something else up here? One second, folks. <clears throat> spider prey. Spider venom. Yeah, there's definitely something up here. Let me guess, it's a spider. Hey, don't you shoot that at me. Young Moss Crawler. Oh, I'm in a magical area. Oh, Staff of Mage Light? No, I don't want to sleep, bro. I want that staff. That everything? Person to 45%. So what did I pick up? Some book of some sort. Boom. Rank one. I think we already know that. Yeah. Spell ward. Increases armor rating by 35 points and reduces magical damage by 35 points. So use that. Staff of Mage Light. Well of light that brightens the targeted place for 60 seconds. Favorite that. Cool. Encyclopedia Arcana Magic, Iron Sword, and a Mana Potion Rancid. Oh, that's the skeleton of the dude who was sent here, the one guard. Alright, so where's this, uh, imprisoned person? Salt, spare parts, stamina flux potion. Stamina regenerates 20% faster. Probably some stuff we can sell. Alright, I killed the Vatir. Now what? Hello. Scream twice if you hear me. Let's see, my inventory is going to fill up quickly. Potion of Woe drains three health for three seconds. Stamina fortification. Cool. with an ice claw. You find an ice claw. Ice claw is listed in your inventory and consumables permanently raise your carry weight by one point when eaten. Nice. So there are hidden rarities like that. Let's eat the ice claw.
<clears throat> Prisoner, I'm here to save you. You can uh, come out now. It looked like there was a second layer to this place. Backpack. Give me five coins. Enchantment. For 60 seconds, items are 7% stronger when you enchant. Stone plate. In honor of Dal Galar, the army's savior. Okay. Vatir. Here, here. Am I missing something here? Clearly. Aha. Anything? Anybody? Ooh. Jewelry box. The Elemental Apprentice. Elementalism spells cost 10% less mana to cast. Light magic costs 7 less. Cool. Man, they just load you with loot. 8 coins. Let me put on that Elementalist ring. My eyes are getting pretty bad now, so I'm going to have to quit soon. Put that baby on. A scroll stack. A scroll of mage light and an empty parchment. Alright, we can stop collecting fog sponge now. Urn. More coins. So what I like about these games too is that money matters more. They're more hardcore, they're more punishing than the normal Elder Scrolls games. Kind of like a gothic game in that regard. Am I missing something? Is this captive? Was it the spider prey? Or was there somewhere I didn't check? Shoe too. I didn't see these sacks. Take those nails. Another chest, coins, and some iron ore. Paul 
apologize, folks. I cannot tell where the heck this person is. I've been all around upstairs, haven't I? I suppose I didn't go this way. Get up there, bruh. Get up here. Come on, jump on stuff. Do as I say. Not as I do. Up there. Guess I haven't been over here, have I? Yeah, there was an urn. Shout or something. Oh, I'm clueless. Vatir was hiding this person, but I don't see them. Maybe I just go back and tell her that I did it. You there. What? No? Blessed and stay safe. Man, I don't get it. Is this really going to be two hours of me running around looking for this chick? Looks like a chest there. Ouch. Golden Goblet. Ah. Well, that's my only lead. It's to head up here. Oh 
wonder if anyone's still watching at this point. They're like, Fluent! What are you doing? I think I might have to shut it off and read a uh, walkthrough on where to find this person. Because I cannot for the life of me seem to figure it out. They're not in there. So I'm going to end this episode, I guess. Completely dumbfounded as to where to find Ella Ride or whatever her name was. And uh, in the next episode, I'll have looked up a review. Or a walkthrough, I should say. That tells me where to go. see that in the next episode so sorry for wasting all this time it is what it is i'll see you then peace out